finally official. Since the moment I met Mallory, I knew that she was the only woman for me. Apart from those other ones you screw, right? No, certainly not. They were just distractions from my one true love. I proposed to Mallory, Nico. She said she would marry me. Now all we need is to find you a wife, and we can all settle down happily ever after. I'm working on it, cousin. There's this girl I like. She's called Kate McCreary. I'll invite her to the wedding! You don't even know her, Roman, so please, try not to embarrass me. Congratulations on the engagement. Thank you, cousin! Get. Feds, I think. They always drive past it this time. Does that worry you? When you marry a dragon, you gotta expect a few knights are gonna turn up to try to <laughs> slay him. Jackasses, all of them, all of you. <laughs> nice talking with Whatever. you. Whatever. You have fun. Pick a swell guy to kill. Hopefully someone with a young family who really miss him. Hey! Hey! Is Mr. Pegorino around? Oh, uh, uh, sure. I I'll get him. Boss! Anthony, will you shut up? In fact, will you fuck off? Go on, get out of here. Mm. Don't come back till you get a brain implant or something. I'm sorry. I I'm s nice to see you, Nico. You too. I got a couple of things I want to talk to you about. First up, can you kill this shithead? Sure. <laughs> Second, come in here. Oh, fuck. So, listen. We got a bit of a problem with the Pavanos. Yes, I noticed that, that you're meeting with them. The way they look at us, we're bottom feeders. Always have been. We ain't a real family to them. Just a bunch of Guernsey Goombas. When things are cool, we're getting fucked. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, sure. Listen, some of their boys are in town today. Gonna collect their piece of an old and a bookie ring. Where it is, they're at the diner, an actor. Find them, and follow them to the meet. You disrupt it, and I'll let you keep the money. But make sure you hit the Pavanos real hard, Gabish. Yeah, Gabish. <sighs> Thank you. I think that guy works for the Pegorinos. God, 
They must be desperate. Let's lose them on the way to the meet. I got that stuff, Jimmy. Well done, my boy. I hope you made him suffer. Teach him that all that is Pecorino turf. Is there a nice little haul in it for you? All right. Well, maybe you'll give me a little taste of it. And something up the ladder. That's how us Italians been doing things for a century. Good thing I'm not Italian. Nikki, what the fuck is this? Roman's getting hit? <laughs> the big man's hanging up his hunting rifle? More out there for you, right? More for me and you, buddy. I have to admit, that was not my first thought when I heard. I'm happy for him. Sure you are. I'm happy too. I'm fucking happy. Brucey is ecstatic, homie. Just, you know, kind of gonna, gonna, gonna miss him is all. He's not going anywhere. Him and Mallory are only getting married. We all have to settle down sometime. What, you think I'm getting old? I got the abs of a 17-year-old gymnast and the forehead of a toddler, baby. Brucey don't need to settle down just yet. Sure, sure. Enjoy all that extra pussy then, Brucey. I'll see you around. Did you see a fucking helicopter on your way here? No, I don't think so. Okay, let's go. Come on, quick. We gotta head towards Port Tudor. Factory off of Auger Street. The have got to Charlie McTay. They told this top Ancelotti couple that it was us that took the sugar. Who knows how the fuck they knew? I didn't tell nobody. It don't matter. What has to happen is that you gotta take out Chubby Charlie before he chops it into Algonquin to tell the commission that we're knocking off the enchilada's action. So I go into this factory and I ice this fat Charlie? That's right. I'm gonna go make a lot of noise so no one thinks I had anything to do with it. Now, the way I sees it, there's two ways it can go down. 
You burst in the front and hit them in the face with everything you got. Otherwise, you slip around the back, go in through the basement, and fuck them up their asses. Decisions, decisions. I'll leave it up to you. See you later. We got you now! Perfect shot! Not so Go to hell!
You don't need to worry about the fat man singing. He's lost his voice. That's a real shame. How about them swingers, huh? Great work, man. Great work. Okay, I'll see you later. Yeah, okay. You take care now. I'll see you later. Give me a call. Hey. It's not what it looks like. Okay? It's not like that. We talk. So do us all a favor and keep quiet. Sure. But feel, and I don't mean to take advantage, but maybe I need help on time. Maybe I can give you a call. What do you mean? <sighs> I mean... I need to find something out about someone. Maybe you can help. Are you fucking blackmailing me? No! I'm asking for a favor. Why do you think I put my neck on the line for you? Because I need help with something. You know, since you don't look like you're full of crap, how could I say no? Enough of this chit-chat. Come on, let's go. We're heading back up to that old house off Beaverhead Avenue in West Dyke. It's about time to pick up that H that my nephew's been sitting on. It's just been sitting there? Yeah, call it a cooling off period. We took it, but we don't know who was watching it beforehand. So you just left it with Frankie? Yeah, we put it in an isolated place. Hopefully any attention it was getting would be noticed. Frankie's one guy, he can disappear real easy if the feds show him. Plus, he's a smart kid. He's related to my ex-wife, and she was smart enough to ruin my life with one lawsuit. So it's been long enough? You think we're going to be okay to pick it up? No trouble? Look, I don't ever assume something's gonna go down easy without any trouble. That's what keeps me alive and out of the pen. We'll see when we get there. As long as we don't see any helicopters, vans, suspicious gardeners talking into earpieces. If none of that's going on, then we're okay. Yeah, you fucking laugh. Laugh all you want. There you are. Frankie, you been keeping your eyes open out here? You seen anyone snooping around? I ain't seen a soul, boss. It's a ghost house. I got the horse loaded into two cars for you. I don't know, this don't feel right. Shit, Frankie, you dumb fuck! The feds have been watching us all along! Nico, get in that car and follow me!
blind? You don't know this to 50 fans watching these cars. I thought Phil was just paranoid. Give me a break, man. I got a lot on my mind, you know? I didn't have much time to scope this out. My ma's kinda sick. I've been looking after her. And my sister? I've been putting her through college. Shut up! These fans are all over me. I'm sorry, man. I only got married the other day. God, I love that kid. You wanna see a picture? I don't want to see a fucking picture. I'm trying to get us out of this situation. Maybe then you can spend time with your wife instead of some jailhouse bitch. Deal with the face, Nico! Oh, God! We're gonna lose the ball! We're heading back up to that old house off. They're all over the bus, Nico! Out. My ma's kinda sick. I've been looking after her. And my sister? I've been putting her through college. Shut up! These beds are all over me. I'm sorry, man. It's just, I only got married the other day. God, I love that kid. You wanna see a picture? I don't wanna see a fucking picture. I'm trying to get us out of this situation. Maybe then you can spend time with your wife instead of some jailhouse bitch. We can't let those fans run the boss off the road. Get them! Nico, grab the stuff from the trunk and follow me. I got a van we could use. More fucking bacon, shit! We don't got all day, come on! I smell a police, watch it! Come on, Nico, chop fucking chop!
Shit, I ain't made for this sort of stress. Can we lose the heat already? Jesus, sometimes I wish I could just go inside and forget about all this. Damn, this is a wild ride. I didn't think I was gonna come out of that one. You're fucking lucky that you did. Lucky any of us did. Don't I know it, Phil. I should have seen him. I've been telling Nico I got a lot on my mind. Next time, mind on the job. This ain't a fucking joke. You got a wife, you got a mom, don't play around with your life. Don't play around with other people's lives either. I don't want to take a bullet or a stint in the pen for anyone else's fuck up. All right, guys. Shit, I'm sorry. Nico, you've done good for me. There's been some fucked up shit going on, but you've been keeping cool. You're a good earner. I got respect for you. Hey, let's see if we get back before you start talking like this, shall we? This ain't over until we got the H in the safe place. You're damn right. Nice driving, Nico. We're gonna be able to shift this H for a lot of money. Might just keep the Begarino family's head above water. See you around. Where can I take so you? So we need to go to Beaverhead Avenue. Good as gold. I can't get any closer than this, so I have to drop you off right here. Not you as well. Tell me it ain't you as well, hey, you hey, Slavic hey. fuck! What are you talking about? Speak, you Balkan piece of shit! I'm done with you. Done with everyone. I'll go, but I ain't going quiet, Mr. Pegorino, I don't know what you're talking about. I came as quickly as I could. Fucking Anthony! What about Anthony? He was wearing a fucking wire! <sighs> that is a problem. My personal bodyguard wearing a wire! I raised that kid like he was my own. I beat him like he was my own son. When my son killed himself, Anthony became my son. Now this, the world is a cunt. Where is Anthony? Uh, I heard he's wearing a wire, so I freak out. I call him up. He's such a moron, he leaves his cell phone on. So we speak. After he's gone states, of course. I mean, Jesus, what a chump. <laughs> he freaks out on the phone, and I put the fear of God in him. I think maybe I've talked him out of it. Then, he has a goddamn heart attack on the phone. I'm thinking problem solved. He's dying right in front of my ears. But the asshole lived, and now he's in the Leftwood Hospital under heavy guard! Okay, okay. Of course he's got you on the fucking tape, too! Of course. So you'll do this for me. So you want me to talk to him? I want you to whack him! And after that, I want you to kill all the other rats I surround myself okay. with! Okay, okay. Don't worry. <sighs>
You're not like the other surgeons here. You don't have that, you know, god complex thingy. I guess it's my bedside manner. John, you're terrible. Hey, you can't go past here. Anyone flatlines from here in, it's someone else's problem. Have a good night, Dr. Rosen. This is private bank. Enjoying yourself! You should have kept your fat mouth shut! Drop it! Now! I know he's here somewhere. I can smell his fear. <laughs> this is it! Permission to blow this off! Stay away from a man such as me. What is it? Ah! Holy shit, he's got a gun. from me. I don't think you will be seeing Anthony on the witness stand. I better not be seeing you up there neither. Or anybody else I know for that matter. This fucking feds. Turning everybody into rats. See you around, Nico. <laughs> <laughs> 